Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Virgo, it looks like you've got, um, coming into the reading, you ha you are the water guardian and the stag. So it says connect with your emotions and trust and thrive. All right, so, you know, what I'm getting from this entire reading is that really good things are coming to you in terms of, you know, material, possession, um, career, opportunities, uh, promotion, business, entrepreneurial opportunity. Um, things are looking well in that regard. In terms of uh, an emotional, um, romantic relationship, you might be very hopeful, wishful, um, may be in a very, uh, a very, uh, like a very um, emotional space, but not a very practical one. So it's like here, it says balance, spirituality and practicality. Um, some of you are hoping, wishing, praying for new love or a specific person here. There could be some blockage or break here, um, or you're just really emotional about this. You need to take a step back. You also need to dive deep into your emotions and determine why. Why do you want it so badly and why are you so emotional about it? Um, yeah, it's like you're super romantic and, but not realistic at this time in terms of what a specific person can bring you, uh, in your life or what they mean to you or what they're offering. Um, some of you could be playing the martyr, like you're the one that's getting, you know, left out or stumped on, or you're being the one that's trampled, um, or hurt. But at the same time, it's almost as if you knew what you were signing up for, or you knew what you were getting all along. So you're going to have to stop that so that you can get realistic. Okay. Um, it also says here, um, this could be the end of a dream for you. Okay. Maybe a dream relationship. This is what it is. You have to take something at face value, take what someone is offering you, offering you at face value. If you are inquiring about a particular person, yes, they are a soulmate. What kind of soulmate are they? Karmic, um, high level, Twin flame, I don't know, but this person is a soulmate. They came into your life to show you, teach you something about you, okay? Um, so this relationship is very uh, emotional. I don't. I think it's because you're not getting what you want. It could be third party. It could be anything, all right? Um, what you have going on for you, a lot of uh, good things, okay? You have uh, high honor. So it's like you're achieving something, uh, purchasing something. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Achieving something, purchasing something, getting public recognition for doing something that brings you a lot of honor, high honor here. Um, so it's like public. People know about it. Um, people are happy for you. They're congratulating you. Um, this is a big thing you've done because the high honor can mean tall or big here. Um, it could even be in your uh, career sector, getting a promotion, getting a raise, getting the, the new position, a job. Um, this is also resolving like difficulties within a work sector too. This card most times means career work, um, professional matters. It could be love. This it could even be the declaration um, of love here. Someone declaring their love for another. Again, very emotional, not practical because it feels as if maybe there's another party who's not in that space just yet. You do have opportunity again, something, um, this card primarily talks about career. Also, it looks like career finances are going very well for you because you have the stag. The stag talks about, um, it's like a deer. It is a deer. Um, the stag provides a, a wealth of, um, of, of things of uh, opportunity uh, life force for those who hunt the stag, uh, the Native Americans, um, reading about this card, the Native Americans hunted the stag. It provided, of course, food, um, clothing, uh, medicinal uh, material, you know, so many different things. So it's like you are 
uh, you have all that you need. Uh, you have a lot of wealth. Um, you have a lot going on for you in terms of career and finance, but love could be offering you some um, emotional blockage, um, maybe because you're not able to get what you want or able to manifest what it is you, you really want in love. Let's pull some tarot and see where we are. Let's see. What do we have for Virgo? Yeah, the King of Pentacles. You're doing very well financially. You have all that you need. Money is just, you know, abundant. You know, you make money in your sleep for some of you. Um, money is not an object. It's not something that you worry about. You have money in the bank. You're good. Um, you're very practical. There's a lot of business acumen about you. You could be a manager. You could be getting that managerial position. This could be your manager coming to you with um, some opportunity. Let's see. Yeah, you could be getting some of you are falling in love or somebody's kind of like sweeping you off your feet or someone's saying a sweet nothings to you. Um, it could be that you're dealing with an older man or an older woman. Somebody is kind of wooing you. Um, keep in mind, this person could. It talks about having unrealistic um, expectations in love. Love the part of when you fall in love, the newness of love, but maintaining a relationship, doing the hard work. That's when the Knight of Cups takes flight here. Uh, keep in mind that the Knights are still in action. They're still on conquest, so they're not exactly settled. So you have a settled energy, and then you have something or someone who's not settled. You also have an offer, an invitation here. Um, yeah, this could be you, uh, Virgo, with the Magician coming up. So we've got something not made real, okay? Um, Ace of Cups, yeah, definitely some of you are falling in love, in love. Um, you're delving into spirituality, maybe you're resting a, a little bit too much on spirituality to bring some real things into your life, maybe some real financial things into your life. Um, you need to be a little bit more practical uh, in terms of making something happen. You can't just be so far to the left that you just can't get right, right? So um, with the magician here, again, somebody could be giving you the sweet nothings, making you fall in love. The Ace of Cups sometimes can talk about being in love with someone who's just not in that same space as you. Or loving someone who just does, doesn't love you back um that doesn't mean that you're in that you could be because again we got the martyr coming up where somebody feels like they're just getting the short end of the stick we also have somebody here with the magician and the king of pentacles somebody could already be married coupled someone is just feeding somebody the sweet nothing saying things doing things to make someone fall deeper in love and like for them um, not really offering much because they can't they only have room to offer but so much okay this is what i have for you virgo if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website book there ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy ella coffee link come to the live sessions Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I answer questions and I do a collective reading. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.